So we are about to start sequence five. I wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much for your support. This game, so we're, I would say we're probably at the halfway marker. Uh, if you look, you can go straight to sequence eight, which I have no idea why this is even an option. Because you have to complete most of the other parts of the game first. Sequence five, I'm going to start that one and just kind of see how it goes. Um, I will be finishing this game. Uh, just depends on, I guess it's just a matter of how fast I'll upload it based on your feedback. So let's do it, guys. Owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starrick has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starrick's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. All right, sequence five, a room with a view. I'm actually not sure if we're anywhere near that. I've been looking for you. What is this? Stalk the stalker. Hang on. Let me see what our progression log shows really quick. Progression tracker. Okay, sequence five. So, sequence four had seven missions. This one has... Looks like the exact same seven. All right, so, friendly competition. We're going to do that first. Breaking news. Lady with the lamp. Room with a view. Guess it's the same setup. Man, I like this game so far. It's actually been... It, it's... I don't know. I like it much better than Unity. I'm not sure if that says much, though. That was... It was a good game, but it definitely felt like it was a rushed product. Oh, wait. What is this? Can you change your outfits and everything? Everything is on the train. Oh, I, I can't go back there. What? You'd think you would be able to. That's, oh, wait. There it goes. All right, let's see what this has. Excess gear and weapons. You can do this from the menu. Why would this be a spot you have to visit? Let's go talk to this guy. Access the black market. I thought that was about to take me to the PlayStation store. I was about to be like, are you kidding? Oh, let's just jump out. Really no point in doing that. So what I'll do, I'll actually transition. Uh, I thought it was really cool how I was able to... Uh, put the missions like two in one I can't guarantee that every time but if you guys like the long videos I'll definitely consider doing that so hang on one second guys alright so I stole a uh, carriage still the fastest way to travel I thought maybe going the rooftops would be the quickest but until I get like a glide suit or something which is never gonna happen in an Assassin's Creed game that's just gonna have to be what it is this is actually on top of a roof. What is this all about? And this is the first mission of this one, so... Okay. Peace of Eden. What was that? Did you see that? Members of Parliament and others. So the hints you found in the Kenway House lead to the monument. What a wonderful use of your time, Follow me around asking obvious questions. Well, since Henry isn't here, I thought you might enjoy the company. I don't require any company, and Mr. Green is following up on some leads of his own. Oh yes, Mr. Green, that's a fascinating idea. Oh please, Mr. Green, come and take a look at this book and stand oh so close to me, Mr. Green. I do not. Well, perhaps you have nothing better to do, but I'm busy protecting the assassins. Are you really? What was it father used to say? Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. Precisely. Anyway, I'm off. If I find any more wild geese for you to chase, I'll be in touch. Be ever more pleasant for your absence. Okay, examine the base of the monument. That is really cool how they do this. Examine the base of it. Problem is getting down there. Got some guards, we got... They're all level 7! What is my level? Hang on, before we go any further. Level 4, okay. I only got... Can I even do anything? Execute 1. I'm only level 4, really? So to get... Wow, you have to go so much further. This is where I thought about just going to the store and buying as much as I could. I guess I'll have to do air assassinations. Right. Do you really want to 
I'm not sure if it's the same design team that did Unity that did this one. It almost feels like it is. Okay, one's yellow, one's... I'm gonna try to double assassinate. I know there's other people running around. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's, it's not looking promising. Time to go up. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, time to go. Alright, so what I can see... If I just keep going up... Wow, you can actually go all the way to the top. Wow. There's no way they're shooting me right here. No way. If that bullet hit me, that would have been some bullshit. There's no way they can even get up here, right? Maybe I can, like, send people to attack them. I mean, they're all right there, so... I guess what I could do, I could have threw a smoke bomb down. And then ran through it. I could do that. Where's this jumping to? Oh, I see. Hello? I caught something. You mean to tell me, out of all them... Got him! Get in there, bitch! Now, examining, you don't have to be anonymous. <laughs> to the Batcave! Yeah, this is kind of sloppy, whatever. It is what it is. Can't be stealthy all the time. Oh, no! Oh, shit! All right, I got it. Took forever. Took forever. In crowded conditions near open flames and with few methods of fire control. Will you reach the top of the monument? All right, it's pretty easy to do. These guys already see me, so they're not going to chase me up to the top, I would imagine. Problem is, if I get shot once, this is over. I'm going to run around the side and go up. Play it safe. So what I basically did, I got spotted and I ran all the way in the other direction. And then I beat them back by getting back to the spot. And when I got to that area originally, I was already out of the uh, zone where they could spot me. This looks familiar. Perform a leap of faith in a haystack while on a zip line. What? I just did this, didn't I? While on a zip line. I, I didn't think you could do that, though. Let me see something. No? Alright then. I don't know if I can do that, guys. That's... It did like the option hasn't popped out. Unless there's a different area. Oh, there's a supply chest. I need some supplies. Anything is... I actually think these games, they set up to some of these missions are really difficult. No matter what you are. Others, not so much. And I feel like you can do everything. I actually feel like you could probably beat this whole game if you were ranked 1. I don't think it would have mattered too much at all. Even though I'm like rank 4 or 3 right now. So The enemies being rank 7 just didn't... I didn't understand it too much. It doesn't feel like it's really something that's going to draw you away if you don't get it. Alright, let's drop down. I guess I'll still uh, this one right here. I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna go straight to the objective. 
some games, what I've noticed is a lot of games recently, with even with ones that are supposedly heavily stealth driven, is they don't really... They don't really punish you for not being stealthy, unless it, like, says specifically not to. I noticed the same thing when playing Metal Gear Solid 5. It was like, you could rush through a mission and get spotted by everyone and still get an S ranking, so... And this one's, like, no different. Either way, it's getting done. Form a leap of faith. I just, I don't think I can do that anywhere. Because that would have been the one spot I do it, and that's the one I jumped off of originally. Oh, I can climb up here. Here we go. Yeah. Look at this guy holding the sign. What's he about? How amazing would it be if they ever made a first person... Well, not, uh, you know what? Not even a first person. A, th a third person Bioshock type game. I think Bioshock Infinite was one of like the best games that have come out in the past few years. And that game in particular. It like parts of it like remind me of this. Solve the puzzle. Okay. Oh, that's it? Oh no, that's not it. Looks like you gotta get them lined up. Okay. Just heard that thing clank. I don't know if that's the right way or not. Those are accurate. Oh, this one has to be... So they have to be in the exact same direction. That's perfect. That one. And then the triangle. Nice. That has to be it. If that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Mission's a lot longer than I thought it would be. What was that? These these big monuments are just so well designed, it looks like. Because you even have Big Ben. The fact that you can just scale it's amazing. You cannot go up. Now, depending on how long these missions are, there might just be one per video. I don't know. I'll just kind of base it off of how long they are. This one in particular feels like a lot longer because I struggled with that one part for a little while. I kind of wonder if they got it set up to where you can't go to certain places, like it's the level difficulty is a little higher. Alright, examine. And the shroud. Good day, Miss Fry. I'll take that. You and Shroud have your own power. But what if you cannot control it? And why do you want the Shroud? Merely to keep the Templars from having it. How like an assassin. To hold the power of eternal life, and yet be too afraid to use it. Eternal life. Is that what you think the Shroud offers? What I think is no longer your concern. Oh, snap! <coughs> Counter all of her strikes. Oh, that's going away quick. Come on. Problem is, I don't have any medicine. So if she hits me once... Come on, bring it on. I don't think so! I'm going off right now. I've just hit her like twice and then just spamming the counter button. I thought she for sure would be like a last boss. What the hell?
Oh, that was a... So you can't... So you can usually spam the counter button. But in that instance, you have to actually time it. Hmm, interesting. It's one way to do it, I guess. Come on, bring it on. I'm out of bullets. Come on, bring it up, bring it up. I'm not even sure if this is... Come on, bring it up, bring it up. Lucy Thorn boss battle, let's go, boys. Oh, shit! I'm like, I'm scared to get hit right now. Come on, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. There we go. That was a badass mission. I'm sorry. That, the whole thing, it, towards the end, I wasn't sure if it'd be a good one, but that definitely was awesome, so. Alright, well, that was, oh, I did get the, okay, I didn't count all of her hits, so I don't know how I got that. I don't know if it's something else that might have, like, triggered that. What is this? This is a secret passage. Alright, so we come back next time, I guess I'll do the next mission. Uh, if they're shorter, I will definitely consider doing like two in one, but that was kind of a longer mission it felt like. So, I love you guys. If you want more today, just let me know. Peace out.